All right, LDW MMAC. Uh, there's no background music in this uh, simply because the validity and the situation in the video is, is, is very serious. Um, I know I've gotten on Nico in the past. I mean, I, I know I have. Um, but in this video, we're, we're going to refrain from talking from the past, okay? Because what this woman has been through the last couple of years is hell. Some of it brought on by herself and some of it not, you know? The car accident and this recent event with Nico Montano. Now, Nico Montano was assaulted. Uh, she was assaulted in a hotel in Texas. And I guess her and her then boyfriend, Justin Watson, they were, I guess, in Texas for, for whatever the event was. They were there. And Nico was screaming for her life. You know, she ran out of the hotel room naked. I'm talking about naked as a jaybird. And she was trying to get away from this dude. This dude, Justin, okay, this dude, Justin, he pulled Nico by the hair and was like, you know, dragging her back into the room, okay, all along while she ass naked. Um, for her to try to run and get away from somebody with no clothes on, it had to be serious. And Nico, she said, listen, if it wasn't for the things that I learned in MMA, it could have been a lot worse. And, you know, I believe that. Um, you know, guys, I always tell y'all, I always tell y'all, because... You know, some people, they'll go, man, you shouldn't talk about certain fighters like that because if they see you, they can do X, Y, Z. Okay, and, and probably. Probably. You know, probably. But I, I doubt a female fighter could do X, Y, Z to me because here's the thing, y'all. There are men and there are women. Folks, that's, that's just what it is. There are men, there are women. And Nico Montano, she did an amazing job of getting away, uh, but she used the MMA. But, you know... You know, in a fight, in a street fight, like, I mean, it, it's different. It's totally different. Because nobody's standing you up. You know, nobody's telling you not to hold on to a cage. You know, nobody's doing that. In a street fight, anything goes. And Nico, by the grace of God, she was able to survive this ordeal. Um, guys, this is really highlighting a problem in mixed martial arts. Okay? Like, there are a lot of fighters. A lot of fighters that they're assaulting their girlfriends. And I'm talking about men. You do have the women fighters from time to time. They'll assault their boyfriends. But damn, it's like every time you turn around, man, it's another male MMA fighter beating the hell out of their women. Like, it's, it's like a trend. You know, Mike Perry did it. John Jones did it. Now, this boy right here, Justin Watson, did it. Okay, then you remember uh, War Machine did it. You remember uh, uh, Julian Wallace did it to uh, 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 Jessica uh, Rose Clark. I mean, guys, it, it's becoming to the point now where you know, these, these women MMA fighters, y'all might have to go fight. I mean, y'all might have to find normal dudes to be in relationships with. So you don't have somebody waking up in the middle of the night with a damn concussion trying to beat the hell out of you. I mean, guys, this problem is, is really, it's getting worse in MMA. It's getting worse. I think football and MMA, they have the highest rate of men beating the hell out of their spouses. And for what? Okay. I, you know, and then Justin Watson, he comes out and he goes, oh, well, you know, um, you know, there's two sides to every story and, and not everybody should have alcohol or people need to learn how to control the alcohol. In some situations, women's, women do, they do provoke men. Okay, now me as a man, I, I can't strike a woman. I just, I can't do it. Now, if she's coming at me or she's trying to take my life, yeah, I'm, I'm knocking out. Or she come at me with some kind of knife or, you know, whatever, I'm knocking out. But... If it's a drunk woman, I'm just going to restrain her, okay? And it seems like this guy, Justin Watson, okay, he he, he been trying to hide. But, you know, of course, this is the Internet. The Internet's undefeated. Justin, they're going to find a picture of you, just like I did. Um, but it just seems like that, you know, these guys, for some reason, they just get in their feelings. Something triggered them. And then all of a sudden, you know, there it was. Now, I'm assuming she was naked. You know, they was getting it on. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he got mad. He couldn't perform. I, you know what? There, there was a fighter. And this is no lie, guys. It was some amateur, like some low-level fighter. It was about 10 years ago. Uh, he was in there, and they was doing the Kunsi Kunsa. And, you know, dude, you know, she couldn't, She, I, I mean, she couldn't feel him. And, you know, he got mad and tried to kill her. Like, you know, uh, and her running, out the, her, her running out the room naked. Uh, come on, man. Come on. You know what they was in there doing. So something happened. Something happened, okay? And I don't want to speculate, okay? Because I don't know exactly what happened. But this dude just got enraged and started trying to beat the hell out of her. 
you know, and Nico may have had a part in this, but still, the thing of it is, man, you know, you're a trained fighter, she's a fighter, but she, she's still a woman at the end of the day. She's still a woman at the end of the day. And, and, you know, these men, they keep putting their hands on these women. Yo, man, somebody need to judge. They need to start breaking these dudes. See, they need to start putting these dudes in these prisons, okay, where you got a lot of men that like to fight. You got a lot of men that like to break in men that, that come in there thinking they all that. They need to start putting these guys in prison, man. For some reason, Nico, there was no police report filed. Nobody was arrested. What? Wait a minute, you come out of a hotel room ass naked and nobody's arrested. This guy dragging you by your hair, but nobody's arrested. See, I'm going to tell you something, man. And people say, well, what, why wouldn't you go call the police, man? Uh, listen, it's people who've been in abusive relationships for decades. Okay, for decades, they don't call the police because... And this is no knock at Nico, but people in a situation like Nico, they think that that's love. They they think that this is normal. And guys, it's probably been going on for a long time. Because I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, how can somebody want to, like, abuse somebody so beautiful? Like, I think about this. Like, how can somebody, like, Nico, how can somebody want to abuse somebody so beautiful? And Nico seemed like she got a, a nice spirit about it. Seemed like she a nice person, you know. Deep down, she seemed like she real nice. I mean, and I get a vibe from her, like, you know, she nice, she's just a little naive, but she seems like a nice person, you know? Why? Like, seriously, man, why, why would you want to beat somebody so, like, what did she do? What did she do or say that could cause you to just drag this woman by the hair and nobody call the police? Nobody, nobody call the cops. I wonder why. I wonder why. The truth a lot of the truth is going to start coming out, okay? We're going to start hearing more and more. We're going to start seeing accounts. Probably a video will surface, okay? Because the hotel, they got video, okay? So all the hotel got to do is go give the police the video, okay? The video surveillance is there. If they ran out in the hall, the video is there, okay? That video is going to come out. You better believe me. I'm Coach Tadamas. That Nico Montano video with her running down the hall, getting dragged by her hair, that video is going to come out. But here's what I say to Nico. Nico appears to be always getting in stuff, man. Uh, you know, the whole thing with the car accident, you know, which, you know, no, it's not our fault. These things can happen. The situation with this guy, the situation with the documentary where, you know, she she's in there and she's naked in a documentary. You know, all these things, it comes to what people are you around? Who's in your circle? Who are you allowing in your circle? Who? Because sometimes that karma that come back and get you. And I'm going to tell you, you know, the whole thing that went down with her old gym, okay? I, you know, I didn't like the coach for lying for Nico, but that coach was loyal, okay? That coach was loyal. That coach was even saying, hey, you know what? Nico hadn't even still paid me money, you know, from fights. I mean, but that woman, she treated Nico like a daughter. Like, she viewed Nico as a daughter. And, you know, she I think this woman even, what, let Nico stay at her house? When Nico ain't have a place to stay there when she first got to the area, like, it was crazy. And then she just leave and go to Jackson Wink. When you do people like that, when stuff like that happens, look at everything that happened to Nico now. Like, seriously, I'll just look at everything that's happened to her, okay? When she betrayed the coach, okay, the coach fought for her, you know, tried to lie for her, tried to, you know, but that's what you're going to do to your fighter. You're going to have your fighter back. No matter if you think they full of shit. You're gonna have your fighters back. This woman had Nico's back. I, you know what? What? I don't know what else that that woman at Fitting MB. I don't know what else she did, or you know what kind of stuff happened. I don't know what kind of wrong she did, but I do know that that woman had Nico's back. Had Nico back from day one. Live for Nico. Just did whatever she needed to do to make her fighter look good. Okay, I don't know what she did, but that whole thing came back to bite Nico, guys. I mean, literally, guys. Just look. Look at what's happened. Okay, I mean, she gets stripped of the belt, okay, has a car accident, has a foot injury, okay, I mean, is, uh, what else happened to Nico? Uh, she had a car accident, she had the foot injury, she got stripped of the belt, okay, now she got this assault happen, then she had a documentary, you know, where she's exposed. Like, guys, when you see somebody like that with stuff just keep happening over and over and over and over, you got to reevaluate Who's your circle? You got to reevaluate who's in your life. You got to reevaluate who's for you and who's only trying to like profit off of you. You got to reevaluate because the more that you hang around the circle that you're hanging around, this kind of stuff is going to happen. And you know, I, man, 
I feel bad for her. I, I legit feel bad for Nico this time around I do because no woman deserves to get her ass whooped. Nothing about no dude. They, the guys, they, they don't. Okay? They don't deserve that. You know, if, if they ain't doing nothing, if it's just an argument, if it's just whatever. Okay? Even if, you know, maybe she threw something at him, that's fine. You know, it, she don't deserve to get beaten and dragging. You know, you can restrain a female. You can restrain her. It's, it's simple to do. It's simple to do. I'm, I'm just not cut from that cloth where I'm going to hit a woman that's no threat. That, that, that's not trying to take me out. And I know we're going to have people that defend Justin Watson. We're going to have sickos. We, we have sickos and weirdos all over the internet. So it's no different. They're going to come. They're going to try to defend the guy. I mean, you don't know what's going on. You don't know. Look, man, all I know is that a woman naked trying to get away from somebody who grabbing her body here. Guys, that tells you a whole lot. It tells you a lot about the story. I mean, who? Who, who, who was the one? Who was the one that was a threat? It damn sure wasn't a person that was running away. It wasn't a person that was running away. But folks, I always tell y'all, okay, karma comes to all of us. Comes to all of us, guys. It don't matter who you are. Karma comes to everybody. And you have to be aware, man. If you're doing people wrong, you know, sometimes, man, that, that shit comes right back on you. And it do you the exact same way that you did that person. Now, Nico losing everything. See, she stole a couple of your know, tens of thousand dollars from the Fit and MB coach, but look how much more money Nico has cost herself. Like the rest of her contract is gone. She's missing out on the UFC money that she could have got for the last couple of fights on her contract. Okay, she's not getting a penny of that documentary money that they selling what for twelve dollars a pop. And you know people finna watch it because they know she knew. They finna make a killing on that documentary. I I, I mean folks the amount that Nico has lost, bro. She lost a car. I mean, just guys, start adding up all that money. Start adding up all that money. Okay, start really adding up all the money with every situation with Nico, and you'll begin to see that, hey, it's time to reevaluate some stuff. It's time to go make some wrongs right, okay? I, I, I don't know what the situation, I don't know how her and that coach fell out. Whatever she needed, Nico, even if she can't work with this coach again, she needed to get that situation resolved. She need to get that situation resolved. They need to either agree to disagree or they need to do something. She got to resolve that. If she owe that woman some money, she need to go pay that money. Because if that keep looming and hanging around, <clears throat> excuse me, hanging around, the only thing that's going to happen is stuff just going to keep happening to her. But this piece of right here, uh, Justin Watson, boy, you can't hide. We don't like woman beaters around here. We don't like woman beaters around here. We don't like woman beaters, okay? We don't like them. We can't stand woman beaters. And guess what? <laughs> You're going to be in a long list of them. And I hope and pray. I hope that Nico come to her senses and have your ass arrested. I hope when those video, uh, the, the videos come out from the hotel, I hope and pray that Nico finally do something right. Do the right thing. Get this scum. Get this criminal off the street. Guys, don't come in my video leaving comments. That's what you get for Duck and Valentina. I'm not, I'm not trying to hear that, okay? That's not the video for this. Don't leave them comments because if you do, I'm blocking the hell out of you, okay? Nico getting abused, this is not funny, okay? There's nothing funny about this, okay? This woman could have died behind this, okay? Nico Montano could have died behind this or she could have been severely injured behind this, okay? This is not something. It's not a laughing matter. It's very serious. And I want to thank y'all for listening.